Today I am visiting Safdarjang tomb. This is an important monument in Delhi, although not as famous as Qutub Minar or Red Fort. And as you know, my interest is in symmetry and particularly symmetry of tilings or jalis. From that point of view also, this monument does not seem to be that rich. So whatever few tiles or jalis we have here, we will have a look. Let's see. So we have a few tiles here as a parapet, so let's have a look at it. Two interesting ones are seen here. One is on my left and the another one is on the right. So we will look at it a little bit more carefully. So the left one, as you can see there are vertical mirror and there are horizontal mirror intersection of two perpendicular mirror will be the twofold. So this looks like C2 mm to me with this as the unit cell and a central point. And the other one as you can see they are nice hexagons and in the hex within the hexagon there are this uh, six fold star. So the star actually a star with the center of the star and center of hexagon coincide and that's the center for six fold. So this is a six fold tiling and mirrors are there. So this is P6 mm. So there is a simple jali here. You can see this can be imagined as a tiling by rectangles. And this is a very standard simple one where you have a row of rectangles and the other row edge shifted such that the edge comes right in the center of the other row. So this is a very very standard tile and the symmetry if you see there are horizontal mirrors and there are vertical mirrors intersections will obviously be twofold this is also c2 mm so you can see a very beautiful different example of c2 mm the previous one was a little bit more interesting and artistic this is more geometric with rectangles but you have the symmetry c2 mm if you just look above there is this row of petals or leaves you can see. So there is a one dimensional translation here. This is a freeze group. And in this freeze group, if you try to look for symmetry, you have the vertical mirrors. Vertical mirrors passing through the petals as well as vertical mirrors in between the two petals. So which is what is required in a freeze group that the translations are from petal to petal but the mirrors if there is a mirror the distance between two adjoining mirrors will be half the periodic translation. So the translation is from petal to petal the distance between mirror to the neighboring mirror is half that distance. So I am trying for, to look for some more but I am not seeing any periodic uh, patterns here. You can see some finite patterns here. So these are the point groups. For example, this fourfold uh, uh, leaf you can see or flower you can say, the squarest one. So 4 mm, just above that you have that uh, rectangular looking decoration. So that is 2 mm, vertical horizontal mirror and two folds. I have shown you many times now. Let me look at for some more tiles. This is the same one we have met, C2MM. Not many tiles, not many jalis here, as you see in many other famous monuments of Delhi. So I think uh, we will take a leave now. Bye-bye. See you next time.